Hello, this is Dayson Ortiz from MotionMasterTemplates.com. Today I will show you how to add curved corners to your media along with an outline that matches those curved corners. So to get started, let's select on the group layer. This is a brand new uh, project. So all I had to do was go into File, New, and then create your motion project and you can use whatever preset that you need and whatever frame rate that you need it at and then click open. All right, inside of your project, we will select a layer, the first group layer that Emotion automatically creates for you. And inside of that group, we're going to add, I'm going to add a drop zone. But you can add whatever you want. So with the drop zone, it makes it easier for me if I'm going to publish this as a template later on, or if I just want to swap out an image later on, I can do it easier with this drop zone. So I'm gonna start with the drop zone. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rectangle on top. So I'm going to choose on the rectangle tool or click on the letter R. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle a little bit smaller than the actual size of the image. Then I'll go to the inspector. I'll make sure to center everything by clicking on the reset tool here. And then make sure everything is centered. Okay, now inside of the rectangle tool, I will go to the inspector, click on the shape tab, and then I will go to the geometry section. And now I can increase the roundness. So once you get the roundness that you want, you can add a mask, you can add that rectangle as a mask to that drop zone or your media. So to do that, just click on the drop zone or your media, click on right mouse click or click on control, and then add image mask. And then just add that image mask to that. Now you have, and now you have the rounded corners. So the next thing I want to do is I want to duplicate that rectangle mask that I have with the rounded corners. I will change this to rectangle outline. I'll rename that. And I'll go into style. I'll turn off the fill and I'll turn on outline. And I'll turn that layer on. Whenever you create a mask, motion automatically mutes that mask. So I just want to unmute it. And now you see an outline around the edge. So all I want to do now is increase the width of that outline so we can see it better. And maybe we want to change the color to something else. Another thing you might want to do if you're not sure about that rounded corner, you can actually go into geometry, go to your roundness. And what I would do is add a parameter behavior by clicking on a little arrow that points down here. You see it right here. Click on that arrow to get some, sorry about that. Click on that, add a parameter behavior, and I'll add a link. And I will now link to whatever other object I want. So what I want to do is I want to grab the original rectangle and drab, drag it inside of this drop zone well. I'm sorry, the source object well. So now what's going to happen is that outline roundness, you see a little gear here, is linked to whatever I do to the original rectangle mask. So if I go here and I start changing the roundness, you see that affects both the mask and the outline. So this is good to do if you're going to create a template and you want to publish the roundness, or if you're not sure about the roundness, you want to make some changes later on, you can do that as well. And now since we have everything grouped under this one group, we can actually, if you want to change the scale or the position, we can just do it to the group itself. And that's pretty much it. How to quickly add a rounded corner as, as well as an outline. So if you have any questions or comments, please visit my website at motionmastertemplates.com. And while you're there, make sure you download 15 free templates that I have at this time. So templates you can use inside of Motion or you can use inside of Final Cut Pro. Thank you for your time and have an amazing day.